Hey everybody, welcome back to What Remains of Edith Finch. So, in the previous episode, we just had, uh, we arrived at the house, um, we found out, creepy noises, uh, we found out that, you know, some of the family members aren't with us anymore, and we've just found, like, our mum gave us a key, and we managed to find, like, a secret hole, and it led us into Molly's room, uh, where we read her diary, and I think we read her, like, last moments, I think. Uh, she had a crazy dream. Uh, if you didn't see it, check it out. But yeah, I don't know if it was her last moments, and I don't know. I mean, it's a child's story. It's a child's diary. I don't know how much of that. I mean, it, it can't have happened, right? But we don't know. This universe is. It looks like our world, but I mean, I don't. I don't think it's got monsters in it. Um. Like uh, Edith said, she said uh, she doesn't know if she believes all of that. Well, neither do I. But let's see. There's a cat out here. Oh, this is a bit sketch, isn't it? Wow, what a ground to go! Later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Okay, so when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's. Mum is already an interesting character, right? She's sealed the rooms. Um, she doesn't tell us anything. Um, interesting. I wonder how much our character likes Mum. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. It looks she's got a little candle for all of her um, pets. Oh dear, there's a lot of death in this uh, story. I would say that's coming forth as a pretty heavy theme. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Mm. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. This is our grandma, right? 1937 Sven. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. So he was like a woods worker, I assume. Tragedy strikes. Okay. Happy 90th. Crikey, she lived a fair whack then. Her room was like a museum. It is, isn't it? It's like... The whole house. I mean, we just walked into Molly's room. It was like a shrine. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialise him. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Hey, these are the cool gloves that we're wearing right now. What's this? For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims nice. of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. He sails with the house. What a badass. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington oh dear. send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Well, I mean... Odin's daughter, Edie... With husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Oops. I'm not sure how to escape. 
Oh, I had to, like, pull away. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. I mean, yeah, okay. Family tree. It's like we're going through and, like, marking off how each family member stacked it. He stacked it a long time ago. Is that a little... This guy's a bit of a carpenter, hey? Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. There's a lot of hate coming to your mum. Whoa! That is a crazy floor. <laughs> I don't know, anybody's got a bathroom the like this. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Oh dear. It was a pretty big trace. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. Jeez. That's the most pink thing I've ever seen. Does the key unlock all of these books? There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Oh, I've got to find out what it is. There's a secret in this bathroom. In it's the in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh, no way. So cool. Oh, wow, okay. They've built like... Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Built this into the house is so cool. He had like a little film room in the back, like in the walls. Wow. Took all sorts of pictures. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. It snuck in. Couple turns the land into a native haven. Let's push this out of the way. Whoa. Well, this is a cool ass bedroom. Fort Sam, Fort Calvin. It's like this guy really likes cowboys and Indians and stuff. And America. America! And this guy really likes uh, space and exploration. Oh, he's got a command center! This is cool. This is a cool bedroom. I wish I had this bedroom. Can I climb up here? Yes. That's pretty cool. Enlist today. Join and fight. Oh, and you can jump onto your bed from here. No way. Let's go. Let's go to the command center. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. Oh, it instantly turns heavy. So Grandpa Sam, so he obviously lives to be an old person. And he's the guy who does all the cam camera stuff. Uh, okay, so this is the brother he never talks about. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh dear. Eleven. Cool. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Okay. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Jeez. Oh, At Barbara's swing. funeral, we swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh, it's starting to make me feel ill. Sam! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. He's gonna go over the top. 
You guys have seen recess, right? Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh dear. This feels really fucking unsafe. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Oh no. <laughs> then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. Oh shit. I would not be doing this. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Who did it? The day he made up his mind to fly. Shit. Well, that's one way to Colin's go out. story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Wow, I wasn't expecting the heavy hitters uh, this early in the game. Wow, that's really sad. At the sad. funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. It looks like he's done a pretty good job, though. One gets older. I'm guessing he turned into a soldier, Sam. Maybe we find out a bit later. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Yeah. Oh, it's pointing me the way to go. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. These contraptions are really, really cool. <laughs> that is awesome. Love a the house passages like this. were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. There's a lot of wine stashed here. Is it wine? Or beer? Flip the catch. Whee! So I can get out into the main house, but what's this way? Ooh. This is the film star's room. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Guitar. Swan Lake. What's these? Are they, uh... I can't. Some awards, anyway. And a doll and a lunchbox. Big, f big foot. This year. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Happy birthday, Barbara. Is that a pizza? Uneaten pizza? I don't know. Bob Street. Oh dear, she didn't live. Dreadful stories. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up has been. Jeez. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. 
It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door Douche. locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be nice. back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. Oh dear. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. He's not being a douche, is he? She reached for the music box. Oh. I reached for the music box. What? And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Why didn't Rick use the key, though? <laughs> you can't use this music. <laughs> no way. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Oh, no. Huh. I'm ready for hell. Oh no. Coming for you, Rick. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Hookman killer. Creepy face. Hookman killer, come at me, bro. I got you. Couldn't oh. resist. Rick? <laughs> Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Douche. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you Legit. She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Oh god, not again. <laughs> How do I get up the stairs? Stairs are this way. It's cool how I already know the house. This is a trick. You son of a... But also, the shell-shaded graphics are beautiful. Walter! Walter, are you there? What the fuck are you doing, bro? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island Police described the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Barbara turned, saw the hook man, and... was speechless. He was quite smashing. What the fuck? Ugh, get fucked! Shit. Barbara, there's gotta 
gotta be another way out of here. Yep, we're leaving. That night, she played her part beautifully. Oh dear. Was this Molly's room? Out the window? She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. We can't leave Walter behind. Okay. Guess we go this way. Whack him in the back. Surprise, dickweed! He wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over yet. Alright, man, down, let's go get him. Gotta move faster than this, Bob. Come on. He's gone. Check those corners. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Oh, this is so well put together. Okay. Hello? At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming. From inside the house. What? Uh oh. <gasps> oh dear. Surprise! Bravo! 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 You were wonderful. The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. Uh oh. She was going to be famous. Oh and with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Jesus. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, brutal. What a brutal fucking comic. Fucking Jesus. He told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. I mean, yeah. I guess. Alright, I think on that bombshell, I think we'll call episode two here. Um, I love the presentation of this game. It is amazing how they're telling the story. I mean, there's there's not much game here, right? But the way it's telling a story and the way uh, I, I interact with things sort of like partially, fucking cool, really cool. Um, I hope you're enjoying it as well. Uh, if you are, leave a like and stuff. And um, we will come back in the next episode where we'll just continue to explore the house. I think we're going back into the main house. We know where the key is now from that comic. It's in the, the winding toy. So... We're going to check that out in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.